Hi, Aries. You need to know this right now for November the 15th through November the 16th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for November the 15th through November the 16th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Aries for November the 15th through November the 16th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries. Oh, goodness. For November the 15th through November the 16th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Aries. Aries, these are your cards, honey. So, Aries, you have the chariot. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. So listen, Aries could be dealing with a cancer, but you're wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot for Aries. Clarify the chariot for Aries. Clarify the chariot for Aries. It is clarified with the six of wands. Aries, Leora Sag, this is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something or you're getting attention and recognition. So Aries, listen, they could be getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. You can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here. This can be an announcement being made or victory and success. Now listen, the chariot and the six of wands speak to victory here. Aries, you can tell me that something is being brought to your attention and you're wanting to make some type of move or you're moving on or moving forward. You can tell me that you're making an announcement about some type of travel or moving or relocating here. You can tell me that you're getting someone's attention and you're wanting to move forward here. Hmm. Aries, you have the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Aries, listen, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that you're working on something, planning something, perfecting something here. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. For Aries. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. For Aries. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. For Aries. It is clarified with the Three of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be, that is causing you heartbreak. So Aries, listen, you're telling me that you're hurt. Now you could be hurt because your feelings are hurt or you're hurt because there's a third party. Now Aries, it very well could be something that hurts your feelings concerning work or business, you know, and maybe you feel like, hey, I just need to move on. Aries, you can tell me that you caused this hurt and now you want to work on it here with someone Aries, you can tell me that I don't know if there's a third party with someone that they work with that is being brought to your attention here and this is making you to want to move on. We'll see. 
Aries, you have the Seven of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm looking at this. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to concentrate on this, okay? This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something, someone being deceptive, someone strategically devising a plan of action, someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness here, sneakiness or sneaking off. Now, Aries, listen, you could also tell me that you caused this heartbreak and you're wanting to work things out here, but some type of deception here. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Aries. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Aries. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Aries. It is clarified with the Five of Wands. Aries, Leora Sag, this is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So Aries, some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama taking place here. Or you're telling me you're conflicted within about something. Now Aries, listen, you could be conflicted within about sneaking off because you may be going somewhere. Aries, you can tell me some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama taking place, and you're wanting to just leave. Aries, you can tell me that there's some type of deception that's causing some drama. There's competition here. Aries, you have the two of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you needing to make a decision, but you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Aries, listen, either you're indecisive or you're blocking. Clarify the two of swords. For Aries, clarify the two of swords. For Aries, clarify the two of swords. For Aries, it is clarified with the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're in the dark concerning something. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or there's a secret. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Clarify the moon for Aries. Clarify the moon for Aries. Clarify the moon for Aries. It is clarified with justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, but you may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. So Aries could be dealing with a Libra, but you can tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. You can tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Aries. Clarify justice for Aries. Clarify justice for Aries. It is clarified with the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past, full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So, Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from your past is in the picture. Someone from their past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here. Or this involves children. Now, Aries, you can tell me that you're indecisive using your intuition or whether or not you should come in and bring balance and come in and right a wrong with this person from your past. Because like I said, you could have caused this heartbreak and you're wanting to work things out here. However, Aries, you can tell me that there's a secret coming out about some type of deception here. 
maybe something that happened in the past that is being brought back up here, being brought to your attention or someone's attention. And you can tell me that you're indecisive on what to do using your intuition or you're blocking this person because you're finding out something. Aries, you have the Eight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're walking away, detaching emotionally, but when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment, but oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So you could be walking away or returning. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Aries. It is clarified with the Seven of Swords again. Some type of lying, cheating, sneakiness, deceptiveness here. Hmm. Aries, you can tell me that you're walking away because of some type of deception. Some type of deception could be dealing with work or business or something that happened in the past that is being brought back up here. But Aries, I also see in this read that you're trying to leave. You're trying to sneak off. You're trying to walk away. You're trying to sneak off. You're trying to leave. It could be leaving to go towards someone from your past. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Aries. Now, this is just additional messages here. It's like a sneaking off or leaving because of some type of deception. Hmm. And so, drama queen, thirsty, causing chaos. Drama queen, thirsty, causing chaos here. Some type of drama queen in the mix. Competition and drama here. What else for Aries? What else for Aries? Interlude, pause, timing factor. Interlude, pause, timing factor. Okay. Timing is at play here. But it seems like you're ready to take off, Aries. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Aries, you need to know this right now for November the 15th through November the 16th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at herimmortalmaj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.